Hello, my name is Kyle Jarris, and I'm the Education Director at the Academy of Model Aeronautics. I'm glad you found this quick project, and I know you're going to have a great time and learn a lot. Without further ado, enjoy this quick project. Hello everybody, my name is Kyle Thede with the Education Department at the Academy of Model Aeronautics and today, instead of showing you how to build something that flies, I'm going to show you how to build something that helps you come back down to the ground very slowly and very safely. And I'm talking about a parachute. All right. So the parachute that we're going to be building is made out of a coffee filter, but before we get to the parachute, um, it's important that we have our paratrooper. And I've already got one made right here, our little guy who's going to be going for his free fall, but I'm going to show you how you can make one out of one of these little guys yourself right out of an ordinary pipe cleaner. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you've got your pipe cleaner and you're going to kind of make a loop in the middle, right in the center. So I'm going to take both ends here and I'm going to kind of pass them past each other until I've got my little circle right here in the middle. And that's going to be my paratrooper's head. All right, so now I've got these two, these two ends coming out from the circle. And those are going to be the beginnings of his arms. And I'm going to go a couple inches out here from the bottom of the circle, and I'm going to take and pinch and fold that over. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other end, just a couple inches from the circle. All right, so now we've got his head and we've got his arms. All right, and now we've got this little, this area down here where the pipe cleaner is crossing over itself. So we can take that cross and we're just gonna twist it a little bit. And that's gonna give our paratrooper his body. And now he's got his legs down here at the bottom. So hopefully everybody can see that of understand how I made my little guy here and you can make the head bigger or smaller you can make the legs longer or shorter but uh, this is the shape that we want and we want his arms to be these kind of very tightly made loops all right that's going to be important later on for when we actually attach him to the parachute all right and speaking of the parachute like I said we are going to be using a coffee filter for that so I've got one right here you can find these probably in your cupboard at home um, or in any grocery store. And we're also gonna take some tape. All right, I've got masking tape here, but little pieces of clear tape should be fine, even little pieces of duct tape if that's what you've got. Just something that is going to reinforce the parts of the coffee filter that we need to reinforce. So I'm gonna cut very small pieces of the masking tape here. You only need really small pieces. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it along the edge here of the coffee filter and fold it over. All right, and we're gonna do this four times. We're gonna do it here, 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 and here. So evenly spaced along the edge of the coffee filter, we're gonna do four pieces of tape. All right, so I'm gonna have my second one be directly across. There we go. I'm gonna have my second one be directly across from my first one. And then I'm gonna have my third and fourth ones be halfway between my first two. And let me show you exactly what I mean by that. I've got my third one. Get back here, get back here. All right, one last piece of tape. And now it can roll away wherever it wants to. All right, so now we've got our four pieces of tape right here on our coffee filter. And the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hole puncher and we are gonna punch a hole right through each piece of tape and through the coffee filter, right through where it's been reinforced there. That's one hole, it's two, 
That's our third. And the fourth. All right. So here's our parachute. And we've got our paratrooper. And now we just need to connect the two. And for that, we're going to use some string. I've already already got a couple pieces of string cut out here. These are about a little over a foot long, maybe about 14, 15 inches. The exact length doesn't really matter, but as long as you're kind of in this ballpark, you're good. You only need two of these pieces of string. All right, so remember how I said we wanted the arms of our paratrooper to be kind of the, the pipe cleaner loops. And that's because we are gonna pass this string through that loop. I'm just gonna do one arm at a time here. about to the halfway point. All right, so this is what we want. We want our string going right through his arm, about one half of the string on either side. All right, and now we can take one end of the string and we're gonna pass it through one of the holes that we punched into our parachute. And we're just gonna tie it on I'm just going to use a simple double knot, but if you know any fancy knots, you can use those here too. And you may need to get the string a little bit wet just to make sure that it doesn't fray on you or doesn't split up, split apart too much and make it hard to tie. All right, and I'm gonna take the other end of the string and I'm gonna tie it on to the hole right next to it. All right, it can be either this hole or this hole, but we don't wanna go across. We don't really wanna go across. We just wanna go one hole at a time as we go around the edge of the coffee filter. So I'm gonna get my second string tied on here. Just like that. All right, so we're halfway there. We are halfway there. All right, so now we're gonna do the exact same thing with our other piece of string. We're gonna pass it through our little paratrooper's other arm. And we're gonna tie each end of the string to one of our holes in the coffee filter. All right, and once we've done that, our little paratrooper is ready to take a jump with his coffee filter parachute. So one of the things that I did to help it stay a little bit more stable is you can see that I've added a couple paper clips, or actually three jumbo paper clips here to my paratrooper so that he actually stays underneath the parachute as it falls. So if you run into a problem like that with your parachute, this is one possible solution, or you can come up with something on your own to add a little extra weight. Hey guys, I hope you had a great time with that quick project. We have a ton more content available, so be sure to check out the website, amaflightschool.org and modelaircraft.org, both of which have a plethora of resources. Until next time, we'll see y'all later. Keep flying.